Hi there, it's Kelly, Tiny Wise Mama. I've talked a lot about, and will continue to talk about, nervous system regulation. But a lot of the posts that I see so far from other people, and including myself, don't really even talk about what happens when you actually learn how to regulate your nervous system. I teach people tools all the time and how to do it, and I myself have been doing it for a really long time. And what happens when you actually step into that place where your nervous system is peaceful and calm and you can control your reactions and you don't overreact and you don't get stressed out in situations? Well, what can happen is that you can feel tired because if you've been stressed out for a very long time or anxiety has usually been very high or that's been your normal way of coping for such a long time, that you're going to feel like something is missing. And your ego might try to take a hold of that and go, oh my gosh, something's wrong. Something's wrong with me because I, I feel different. Well, yes, you are going to feel different. And it literally takes practice to be in a place of peace, which seems really strange because peace and harmony is actually our natural state. But if you have not been living in your natural state, it is going to feel very foreign to you. And it is going to take practice for you to stay in that state without getting pulled in and out all the time. And you may even go through a grieving process because your body is finally relaxing after such a long time. And when you finally relax and all of your cells and your muscles and your tissues actually relax, you could feel very tired. Like you also need a lot of sleep, which is very common when you are healing the nervous system, healing your vagus nerve. And it's like any other injury. It takes time and it takes patience and it's not a process that happens overnight. So it does sound strange, doesn't it? That we have to be practice being in a place of peace. So you need to have little rituals and things that you do for yourself daily that put you in a place of peace and harmony so that that place can then become your normal state. And then your normal state will be normal for you and it's not going to feel weird but trust me when I say that it does feel weird at first when stress has been something that has been a constant and when you're not stressed out about things you can feel like oh my god what's going on so so one of the things that I do I have I have a couple of things I I have a collection on YouTube like a, a playlist of different meditation music. I have one that I absolutely love, which is a sound bath with tuning forks. It's 30 minutes. I also have another one that's 15 minutes and I just listen to them and it really helps me reset. If I have had a busy day, then I will, you know, lay down and, and listen to that and meditate and just see where it takes me. The other thing that I've started to listen to recently, and this is more personal because one day I actually do want to be a beekeeper and I want to have the, the space in the room to do that is that I've actually listened to uh, on and you can find this on YouTube too is just the hum of beehives and let me tell you holy man that is relaxing <laughs> it's very relaxing it takes me to a very deep place inside where I can go very quickly and and relax Sometimes it might be lighting a candle and just sitting there and staring at a candle and practicing that focus, focusing your awareness on a place of peace and calm. Because the outside world always wants our attention. It always wants to pull us out somewhere else. So you need to make peace. If you want it to be your natural state again, you have to make it a personal practice every single day.